discussed the highlights. Gabna Solu, Minister of Interior, to headline inaugural Lagos International Fire Safety Conference. Also appeals the federal government to save public universities from total collapse, threatens another strike. And the in Russia launches massive attack on Ukrainian power grid. And in sports, CAF gives new update on 2025 Africa Cup of Nations. And now to details, I am Mike James. The Lagos State Government is set to host the first Lagos International Fire Safety Conference with Governor Sawolu and Minister of Interior Olubumi Tunjiuju leading a distinguished lineup of speakers. The event, organized by the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, will take place from June 25 to 27 at the Federal Palace Hotel and Casino, Victoria Island, Lagos. The conference aims to bring together key stakeholders from both governmental and private sectors to collaborate on strategies to mitigate fire disasters and reduce their devastating effect on the lives and properties of Lagosians. Attendees will have the opportunity to participate in a series of workshops, seminars and exhibitions, all focusing on the latest advancement in fire safety technology, best practices and regulatory standards. Director of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, Margaret Adiche, emphasized the importance of the event as a critical platform to brainstorm and develop effective strategies to combat fire disasters, saying it is an opportunity to share knowledge and experiences that can help save lives and protect property. Adiche said major highlights of the three-day event will be the CEO Roundtable with high-level discussions on fire safety challenges and innovations. The conference will also feature a, a routine of highly experienced speakers from Nigeria, the United Kingdom and the United States ensuring a diverse and comprehensive perspective on fire safety management. In a decisive move to restore order and ensure the free flow of traffic, the Legacy Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, has impounded about 25 commercial and 15 private vehicles operating illegal garages and causing road obstructions around the Bujara and Idumota areas of Lagos. The operation led by LASMA Head of Enforcement, Kayodo Dunuga, under the directives of the Special Advisor to the Governor on Transportation, Sholagiwa, specifically targeted legal garages that have been a persistent source of congestion and inconvenience for residents and commuters. Speaking on the exercise, the Special Advisor confirmed that the operation, which began in recent weeks as part of a broader initiative by the Legacy Government to enhance the efficiency of the city's transportation network. You may emphasize the government's commitment to maintaining law and order on the road and ensuring that all traffic regulations are strictly enforced. The special advisor also implored motorists to take ownership of the roads and to promptly inform LASMA of any broken down or abandoned trailers or trucks via the agency's hotline 081-0056-5860 and 081-2992-8503. And Saradin Grammar School Old Students Association Class of 7884 has donated some essential items to Randall General Hospital, Surulere, as part of the alumni's 40th anniversary to assist the hospital and bring comfort to its patients and staff. The medical director of Randall General Hospital, Olumide Shojiri, while receiving the donated items, lauded the alumni for the generosity and communal spirit. Surgery listed the donated items as two infrared thermometers, two apex blood pressure monitors, two manual digital sphygmometers, one weighing scale and height meter, and one public address system, calling on other humanitarian and philanthropist-minded persons or groups to emulate the kind gesture. In these remarks, the chairman of the Old Students Association, Don Yishola, expressed gratitude to the hospital staff for their dedication and hard work, encouraging the management to put the donated items. Ambia State Governor Alex Oti has directed immediate review of promotions and conversions of civil servants to address the complaints arising in the state. The governor who said this during the media party in Umahia said he had already instructed the chairman of the State Civil Service Commission 
and the head of service to sit together and work it out. Oti noted that although the last promotions were conducted in 2021, which he said presents a huge challenge, he restated his resolve never to joke with the welfare of workers. He assured that at the end of the review, workers due for promotion will be promoted, promising to also address the issue of leave allowances. Oti promised to continue to pursue people-centric policies and programs that would positively affect all residents. To the rest of the stories, the Academic Staff Union of Universities also has appealed to President Bolat Tinubu to sign and implement the renegotiated 2009 ASU FGN agreement in line with the collective bargaining principles as enshrined in, in the International Labour Organization Convention. The coordinator of the Lega Zone of the Union, Adila Jaudukoya, made the appeal while addressing newsmen at the Olambisi on Abandu University at Goiwi. Open State also appealed to the President to act accordingly in order to save the nation's public universities from imminent collapse. The Union said it would also ensure that the lecturers were not forced into another round table of avoidable industrial action courtesy of the current conditions of service. Odukoya urged the Tinubu-led federal government to, without further delay, set in motion machinery for the quick signing and implementation of the agreement to avoid another round of industrial crisis in the nation's public universities. Former President Olushengon Basonjo and Governor Hope Zodima of Imo State have inaugurated the Oweri Central Market Complex, describing it as a blessing to Imo State and Nigeria. Abasonjo, who arrived in the state to grace the occasion, expressed confidence in the project's potential to attract investors and create jobs wealth and development. The former president made a remarks during the groundbreaking ceremony of the market project at Umalum in the Nekede area. Obasanjo said the Oweri Central Market Complex has been planned to attract businessmen and women from across the country and beyond and will also create jobs, wealth, harmony, unity and development for Imo State and Nigeria at large. He further commended the governor for his efforts to develop Imo State and express confidence in the project's potential to recoup investment through profit. And over to some foreign news, Ukrainian authorities say seven employees were wounded and energy infrastructure, including a power station, had been damaged in a major overnight attack. Ukraine is buying energy from the European Union, but this is not enough to make up the deficit. It means that most days involve a planned nationwide blackout to protect critical infrastructure such as hospitals and military facilities. President Volodymyr Zelensky has repeatedly called on Ukraine's allies to send more air defense systems and has specifically requested seven sophisticated air defense systems called Patriots from the U.S. Responding, the U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said Washington would put Ukraine at the top of the queue for Patriots deliveries ahead of other countries that have ordered them. And in sports news, the Confederation of African Football CAF has decided that the 2025 Afghan in Moscow will now be staged from December 21, 2025 to January 18, 2026. Host Morocco initially proposed the summer of 2025 for the tournament but uh, this clashes with the newly designed FIFA Club World Cup that will attract 32 clubs from around the world. The draw for the biennial competition will be conducted on July 4 in Johannesburg, South Africa. The qualifiers for the 2025 Afghan will be completed between September and November 2024. And now's our news at 12. But just before we go, ensure the registration mark on your vehicle is clear and visible at all times. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. And you can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Somalu administration supported 152 business and persons in the tech ecosystem 
under the Lagos Innovative Program. You can always get more details at on the Lagos State Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government is set to host the first Lagos International Fire Safety Conference with Governor Sonwoli and Minister of Interior Olubumi Tsunji Ojo leading a distinguished lineup of speakers. The Academic Staff Union of Universities ASU has appealed to President Balat Tinubu to sign and implement the renegotiated 2009 ASU FGN agreement in line with the collective bargaining principles as enshrined in the International Labour Organization Convention. And we also told you that Ukrainian authorities said seven employees were wounded and energy infrastructure, including a power station, had been damaged in a major overnight attack. And then in sports news, the Confederation of African Football CAF has decided that the 2025 African in Morocco will now be staged from December 21, 2025 to January 18, 2026. And for contacts with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiswa Ejoyoka. Thank you for listening, Lagos. Beautiful afternoon to you. My name is Mike James. Thank you.